Hola Virgos, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of July 6th to July 12th. If it resonates, consider a personal reading, send me an email and we can set that up. If you're on YouTube, click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances and health. Check out my playlist also in there. I'm starting to upload my 2021 sun moon predictions and I still have my 2020s in there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven is in there. Um, I also have some compatibilities with your partner sun sign in there. Ask me a question on instant code. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also starting to get on TikTok. So check me out on there. Like, share, subscribe. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Okay. We're already kind of seeing what this is about, but I'll break it down for you. So energies prior to July 6th, I see you very defeated. Okay, something has happened. Um, I think you really felt very good about something. It might have been I, almost like an idea, a presentation, um, something you're really amped up about. You were excited about it. You really thought it was going to hit home. And I think it got rejected. It did not happen. Um, it, it started off with a lot of momentum and then it kind of, you know, landed like a lead balloon and i feel like this kind of has you feeling super kind of like i said defeated retreating feeling like you got punished feeling like you know um you didn't get acknowledged for how great of an idea this was or how great of a thing this was and in turn it kind of has you sort of this rejection has you doubting yourself and your ability and really kind of you know like deflated is the only way i can kind of think of it and and just not kind of feeling motivated or you know wanting to do anything now resolve determination because we have the knight of pentacles here in the upright so i feel like you pick yourself up and you say okay well that didn't work i'm gonna try again this time i'm gonna think over things carefully i'm gonna go over every single detail i'm gonna you know make sure that i don't miss anything i'm going to make sure there's an x to the y to the z i'm gonna make sure that there is no risk involved or very low risk so that when i represent this or when you know this idea is represented um that you know, it won't be able to get shot down. So I think you're you're eliminating all the no's, okay, or all the reasons why not. And then we have, and, and I think you're cooking. I think you're, you know, doing really well. Um, but then we have this Queen of Swords here in reverse, this naysayer. So we have this person who um, kind of, and it could be the person that caused this to be defeated. So this could be a colleague, a coworker, a family member, and they don't have anything positive to say. I'm kind of getting that they're saying things that aren't very nice. I feel like they're um, they're jealous of you or they have some sort of negative um, feelings about you. And they're very expressive about that. And they try to put you down and they try to make you feel lesser than. They might even be, you know, um, bitter or want to exact revenge on you or attack you for no reason. So, um I'm almost feel like, you know, as hard as you're working on this, this person has something to say because they want to make you feel like crap, but they don't want to, you know, see you succeed. So um, forget about them because as we move out of the week of June 6th to the 12th, we see the page of cups here in the upright. To me, this is you presenting this. This is you with your little cup, with your little fish in it. And a little fish could have been your project. Um, and you're like, hey, look what I have. New improved version here. What do you think? brand new idea, super creative, um, you know, or you're bringing news to someone or offer to someone that they're going to be very, very happy about. And it works because this King of Cups to me is somebody who is very receptive to what you have to offer. Um, they actually are like, wow, this is, I like this. This is great. Don't listen to this person over here and what they have to say, because I think it's great. And for some reason, I think this King of Cups is actually, um, you know, if we're talking about in terms of uh, supervisor hierarchy in whatever this ladder is, I think that he is above this person here. So it's almost, it's almost like those typical stories that you see where, um, you know, the winner takes it all and this person ends up feeling dejected because they were trying to kind of get your goat. They were trying to trip you up. And then like the fantastic king comes in and the king of cups, I love him. He's my favorite card probably out of the entire deck because he's very empathetic. He's very kind, but he, but he's very, you know, good at kind of like if somebody's being mean, just kind of like, you know, pushing them off to the side. So whatever this re presentation is or whatever it is that you have I feel like this king of cups is very mature very receptive to it and it's actually going to take flight because of him so good luck 
I love seeing that. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email and we can set that up. Um, otherwise, click on the link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Check out my playlist. I am uploading my 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? I have some compatibility with your partner's sun sign. Ask me a question on Instago. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Check me out on TikTok. Like, share, subscribe. Otherwise, best of luck to you. See ya. Bye.